You know, I actually have never made a video on the icon, Sting. That's right, everybody. How can you not like Sting, all right? But let me tell you something. You know, when WCW was sold in 2001 to Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Federation at the time, when lots of WCW and ECW wrestlers came over to the main WWE, WWF roster at the time, we noticed that there weren't a lot of big names. Like, you know, the guys from the NWO, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan, or uh, Hollywood Hogan. You know, um, we got a lot of like, you know, mid carters. You know, we ended up getting like Mike Awesome and Hugh Morris and Lance Storm and, you know, guys like that. But I would say probably one of the biggest stars that did end up coming over was Booker T, right? At the time, he was the five time, five time, five time WCW champ. And guys, Booker T is the one that I found out today let everyone know about why sting didn't come over to wwf until like 2016 and we're going to talk about that stay tuned that's coming up best there is best there was best there ever will be welcome everyone to wrestle rant studios where we talk all things wrestling if you love wrestling videos, which clearly you do, subscribe to be notified and tap that bell. Help us hit 1,000 subscribers. So, going back to what I was saying here, Booker T was doing an interview with his local radio station in Houston, Texas. And this was about three years ago. So I'm watching the video, and he talks about why Sting didn't come over to the WWF. If you go and look up Booker T's, Booker T and The Rock's uh, first interaction, where The Rock returns from filming his new movie, The Scorpion King, right? At the time in 2002, 2001. And what ends up happening is he shows up, does his promo in the ring, and then Booker T comes out and calls out The Rock. And after Booker T's big call out of The Rock, The Rock just responds saying, who in the blue hell are you? Which a lot of people felt that it buried Booker T. It came out to be that shortly after this, Sting was offered to come over to the WWE as well. Okay, a lot of these big guys had contracts to basically stay home the rest of the year for 2001 of WCW because in the beginning of the year before they were sold they already had a contract you know or prior to that but supposedly Sting did not want to come over to WWE because he was kind of afraid of The Rock burying him kind of like what happened with Booker T but Booker T says that he feels that this was a very foolish choice for Sting because Sting missed out on so many great potential matches. He missed out on so many merchandise sales and exposure for him, you know, which he was very limited with with WCW. So he waited all the way until, what was it, 2016? Uh, when WrestleMania 31 happened or whatever. Guys, imagine if Sting had been a part of the company early on in 2001, 2002 and onward. What an amazing time it would have been. But evidently, Sting was concerned about being buried by The Rock. Like, having Sting come out and then Ro The Rock say, Who in the blue hell are you? Basically, punking Sting out, you know? So, it totally makes sense. But I still think Sting could have held his own in WWE at the time. So, that's where you guys come in. Do you think Sting would have done just as well in 2001 or 2002 in the WWE as opposed to when he came back briefly in 2016? And now he's in AEW partnered up with Darby Allin. So, you know, I guess what, what is meant for you in life will not pass you by, right? But let me know. 
Do you think that this is really the reason why? Because I believe Booker T. I really do. And check out Booker T's Reality of Wrestling. That's also the video, uh, that's the channel that this was from, uh, Booker T's uh, Reality of Wrestling YouTube channel. So with that being said, if you made it to this part of the video, comment Wrestle219. If you love wrestling, which I know you do, let's build the bond. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, help us hit 1,000 subs. Let's get 100 likes on this video. And if you want more wrestling content like this, make sure you subscribe to our second channel, Wrestle Rant Zone. Link is at the bottom of the description. Till next time, guys, keep watching that wrestling, and we'll keep talking about it.